Into the sluice we go. Good news. Tried and tested. A bomb to be countered. Okay, adrenaline rush and defender granting dodges is fantastic. Aspiration unites the hopeful. Retribution and blinding gas for stress relief. This is these are great, but we're getting them on Battle Ballad Healing. And then this is our negative, I believe. Yeah, Resentful. What are you going to curse? The slowest and deadliest All right, that's a little unfortunate. I just didn't want Raucous Revelry on. The biggest downside of these is Raucous Revelry being on Bodica. But this is a short region, and we just have to focus. We just have to focus up on how to get their relationship improved. Some chocolates and candies would be good. Tread carefully and quickly. So let's see. Right now, Howling End has been removed. Swine country. Unfortunately, I think Iron Swan is the is the go-to takeaway here. And yeah, indiscriminate science, we didn't upgrade it, so I'm not that broken up by it. We'll leave magnesium rain on. But that's going to be a little annoying. Yeah, in the sluice, you don't really need Iron Swan. All right, let's get some food here so we can get our food situation a little more taken care of. That would be taken care of. Wow, okay. I think I'm going to let one of those go and one of those go. That's our food situation sorted, but that is also our inventory full. This doesn't have any downside, really. Just put those there for now. Uh, I think I'd rather... I do want the disease resist there. So I'll put that there. We have a bunch of garbage trinkets. That is for sure. Picking up some healing solve, though, is really nice. Okay, Zach and Bodica. Slowly, slowly becoming friends. We, we need to take a more active role in that, but... An academic study... Sure, some otherworldly fragments, potentially. Disease resist is great there. 16 baubles uh, is not really what we were looking for. Um, this early on, I like the cultist. We have an enabler. The avatars of oblivion. Thurgy of the spreading stain. I think Zack and Bodica will recover just because we're going to have a lot of opportunities for healing. Well, everyone agrees. I like that. But I think the... The vulnerable token... Gosh, these relationships are so good. I guess we can do this way because this is a relationship we want to work on. So the rest are so good. We'll take the vulnerable token. Yes, the only negative impact of not having food is you don't have food. Um, which I know sounds perhaps a little, uh, a little circular in nature, but... I would have just assumed that missed so that we could have taken advantage of that later. Nice hit there, though. Hey, Elaine. So we're we're going for the uh we're going for the uh the circuit. That's the plan right now. Pushing you back is great. That means that crit will be le more uh, more focused, although it'll be focused on our Hellion. Well, maybe not.
Yeah, yeah, Aloy can return for sure. Let's see, I think... I think we're best off getting this one killed so it does not crit. This is a little... Here's the play. We put up more taunt here. Then we defend her, which is going to give her a dodge token. So even if this goes for the AoE, we have an answer. Wait, this, this, this causes weakness, so let's do that. Ooh. The, the extraneous stress there was a little annoying. I think I'm going to use Laudanum, because I, I don't think we're getting to the stress threshold. Especially not with 47 point hits like that. Let's just get out of here. Thank you, Constantine. And yes, Aloy will return. That's a bit of a bummer. I was I was hoping for a better uh I was hoping for an actual trinket. And the team is named. I'm not gonna use the Songbook of Amorous Ballads. Oh yeah, we just got that food. Heat shield can go, I think. I'm gonna swap that to there. Keep the disease resist there. I don't think we keep this. I, I don't actually think we're going back to the sprawl now that I look at it. Put that there. We'll put that there. Okay, so so far, despite doing the cultist fight, no, uh, no joy. Cloven Hooves. Hey, big boy. Good hit. Slightly annoying. But I think we're probably... I think he's gonna go... He's gonna gore. Oh, no. He's coming to the front, I think. Oh, no. You didn't move back. Okay, we're fine. Yeah. So he will gore, which is perfect. We have the disease resist there. So we're hoping that... Fouled Shank. What's the most likely... The most likely way to get rid of the Brute with six hit points? This is five to nine. Maybe we just roll the dice on that. All right, exact lethal. You'll love to see it. Eh, well... I miss Iron Swan already. Probably should have used a Laudanum on herself. We'll just stand fast to get more taunt up. Gonna go for the stress heal here. I miss Iron Swan a lot. That was a strengthened hit for seven. Jeez. Okay, all we have to do now is stress heal. Let's 
keep her in the three range. That's more like the hits I'm expecting. I wonder if uh, Encore is any good for generating relationship. It looks like the answer is no. I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm fishing for ounce for relationship. Uh, I'm just testing it out. Doesn't matter what we do here. Let's go for the crit. Vulnerable and winded. That could be interesting. Ooh, peculiar pods. Love to see that. I vulnerable could have some upside too. So I think it's it's interesting because you might be able to play around it a little bit as well. All right, you you get the peculiar pods, which is awesome. Refill the laudanum stack. Still 18 leagues, but we've seen very little benefit other than other than cash flow from this sluice. It does seem like the sluice is just worse than it used to be. Not to be cranky. Wow, everybody agrees we don't want to do this fight. All right, well, let's take a look at our relationships. I think anything that improves, we want Alloy and Zack to improve. But it looks like it's better to do it from the Alloy side of things because Mutant Bread and Alloy are also struggling. So we'll do this. And also, uh, there's that vulnerable converted into block trinket, uh, Tenebrae, that could be very interesting. Let's go right. I like, I like what's happening with our relationships, though. We're going to take some uncontrolled hits here, unfortunately. Malaise, measured and steady. Even though it weakens her, I think this is worth it. Get those burns going. And it looks like uh, Aloy is going to be our tank for the for the foreseeable future, because uh, somebody decided to be in the back forty, hanging out. These uh, these suckers have decent uh, decent range, so I think having the taunts back there is not bad. Oh yeah, and we get stress healing from that too, don't we? Hmm, slightly awkward now. We don't really want to move back. That's great. That is fantastic, in fact. You are you are acting slightly cowardly. At the moment, Black Curse, what can I say? This will slow this guy down so we can definitely get what needs to be gotten off of them. Four and five. I think this is actually, this is actually Magnesium Rain. All right, it, it secured this kill, so I can't, I can't complain too much about it. And then I think we'll just do, we'll double up here. So we can we can toe to toe to remove the weaken. Then that guy dies, or this guy would have gotten delayed. It didn't matter which. And then keep our stress down while also dropping some bombs. 
Do better, Black Curse. Do better. <laughs> Don't, don't even need the pouch of lie. The pouch is full of lies. Let's see, fill up our, top off our laudanum. I should just be using these bear traps. There's like no value to not. I think I like having mutant bread back. But hold on. In light of that, we do have strategic withdrawal. So if we really want to switch things up, we can. Everybody starting out stealth seems kind of annoying. Okay, you're you're the dissenter. So we should pick between Zack and Black Curse here. We do we do this one cuz it improves their relationship. So let's see, double actions right off the cuff. I'm, I'm getting a little greedy here, I, I will admit, but. So the beauty of this is because the taunt token is here, we know that the gore is going there. The stun is a little annoying, but... Seven was the min roll there. But we got the... We got the dodge token, which was nice. Love to see it. Ooh, that crit token. We need to utilize that for sure. Yeah, I, Ounce just doesn't seem to have the capacity to generate uh, positive tokens anymore. Okay, wait, so, so here's the thing. I think I move here because I want the crit not to end the fight so that we can potentially get stress healing off of it. And then that clears out. Okay. If I had if I had killed with uh, Mutant Bread, we would have been in a world of hurt. Ooh, Buttressing Band. Heck yeah. The loathing of base. Don't mind if I do. Neutralizing powder can probably go. I said I was going to use those items. What did we pick up here? Ooh, travel healing. How delightful. Bandages probably don't need to be capped. Yeah, I think I think I I think it may not be able to, which is is unfortunate. Um Another, it looks like this is going to be another zero mastery sluice unless, uh, unless the game really hooks us up on this last one. I want to get the toe to toe to fix our order here. Get rid of the corpse, even though it puts the weak there. Oh, 
gosh, where's my where are my relationships at? This is very disappointing. Yeah, I think I think ounce uh, ounce may not do what we want it to do here, unfortunately. Slightly annoying there. Oh man, my crit! <laughs> what the heck, game? I want to use my crit. Now we're not gonna be able to. I kind of want to kill time here, so I'm going to do that. I mean, it's pretty close. <laughs> we're compared to everyone else. We're at like almost all 20s. Um, all right, so let's see. We can slice off for the stress healing. I'm doing this because I actually want one more pip of stress on uh, on Black Curse, if possible. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, Ounce just keeps on getting worse. Uh, at least it used to be able to give relationship. But at this point in the run, after the number of ounces that I've done... Man, another Warhorn? Wow. Game is hooking us up with warhorns. I think it I think it goes off the bar right now. Being able to de-stress with blinding gas. It's hard because you would I would never use it at the beginning. Probably just put indiscriminate on the bar. Clarifying pulses, as I like to save for the end, but the end is still a long way away. That was a zero mastery sluice, though. Feels bad, man. Figure it. We're going to get one more item when we arrive at the shop. So. One more thing does need to go away. Book of Creative Insults is pretty middling in its value, but I don't think we're saving the restorative herbs. Yeah, Ounce, Ounce of Prevention, new update. Oh, the candles and chocolate is big here. Uh, new update now has an 80% chance to bleed five. Eh, no mastery is okay. We still, we still picked up some good food. I, the number of times I've gotten Sprawl Scrounger after that after the sprawl is ridiculous. Weak grip, I don't really care about. And erudite is fine. Okay, we got a feast. Oh, oh my gosh. Are you joking me right now with this? This is too much. I want... I want it all. Damn. That's disappointing. Where are we going? I think it's Tangle. Well, good Blight Trinket could be pretty sweet. Maybe go to the feeder. Yeah, I, I think I like that idea. I know, I need to take out a loan. This is ridiculous. Okay, let's start out with... Food. Does anyone have anything they need to resist? Not really. Okay, so book the chocolates are definitely going to Aloy and Zack. 
Show me the show me big improvements. That was a big improvement. We're gonna buy another one though. Everybody's getting a feast. We're getting one of those. And now this is a really hard combination. I think appalling apron is incredible. Fourteen, I'll take it. So I think appalling apron is is exceptional. Especially with a Ravager. It's so good on a Ravager. But the Spiked Skull Cap. I wish I could buy the Bone Saw too. Because the Bone Saw counts as a serrated item. Well, the Bone Saw and this work well in tandem. There's also the Buttressing Band though. And then there's also the Greater Heart Seeker. Which is just 10% more crit. Flat. Man, I, this is this is insane. <laughs> so the provisioner, ooh, fifteen percent positive banter. That's gonna really lock in our relationships. Also, man, this this is really difficult. So appalling apron is nice, but we have we have good capacity for removing dots as is. Spike skull. If target is bleeding, 15% crit. Apply to attacker when hit. Apply on crit if bone saw equipped. Apply, gain on crit disease 5% of the time. Spiked skull cap is really good. We're going to be putting out a lot of bleed. But 15% conditional crit versus 10% always crit. I think 10% always crit wins in this case. I, I hate to do it, but I think that's the play. More crits is good. Yeah, I wish I I wish I could have afforded more of them. And then I do think I'm gonna buff our speed for this region. Sure. We have those. Oh. We just picked up Tune Hummer and Tune Hummer. Uh-oh. Everybody's going to be humming. Now, what else, if anything, can we afford here? I think we're good. We could get the lesser Heartseeker, but I think that's a waste of money. All right. Oh, it wasn't the Provisioner. It is the Roaring Hearth. So I don't know why this Provisioner was so insanely well-stocked. Yeah, okay. It's the Roaring Hearth was the name of the inn. All right, let's go do do the thing. We do also have the Bounty Hunter on offer. They'd be standing front line. I, I think Alloy is, is probably better. If everyone is a Toon Hummer, I like that idea a lot. I'm tempted by the Bounty Hunter, though. I just, I feel like with 15% positive banter, we're going to have great relationship building. So I'm going to go that direction with it. I don't like missing out on the relationships. 